What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It'll probably take a while because I'm actually here in the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn uh, to get this thing out here, but it's interesting. It's an interesting piece here. The Dallas Cowboys apparently are bargain basement shopping. If you're old like me, you'll remember Kmart Blue Light Specials, okay? Attention shoppers, we have a Kmart Blue Light Special over there with the cheap shit. Um, the Cowboys are, you know, making sure that they don't leave any stone unturned, okay? You know, we're hearing about um, uh, TJ Brunson brought in today, of course. Uh, former New York Giant uh, seventh round draft pick linebacker. They're checking him out and things. Uh, we know that we, uh, Christian Sam, we signed him. Uh, you know, we've actually brought in three linebackers. The Cowboys refuse to sign any name players that you know. They just don't. That's just, you know, Stephen Jones is, that's his thing. I'm not going to build a team with anybody you know. I want all new, all new guys. And um, that's their thing. Although maybe if you've been a USFL fan, if you've been a USF fan, the Dallas Cowboys are going for the cream of the crop of the USFL. Um, that would be MVP, MVP, which means most valuable player, if you don't know what MVP stands for, Cavante Turpin. Okay, and I hope I got it right, but you know I'm a name butcher. Some people out there say I'm illiterate, say I'm stupid, well, whatever. You know what? I'm adorable, though. And I'm damn cute, too. So nobody does everything perfect. If you need a house fix, I'm your guy. I, I'm your guy. In fact, if you need like a mobile studio and everything else, I'm your guy. If you need a voodoo doll, I'm your guy. The name pronunciation, not so much. Anyway, the Cowboys are definitely kicking the tires on a bunch of players here two weeks before training camp, trying to find themselves a few diamonds in the rough. Kevante uh, Turpin uh, is a five foot ten wide receiver. He's a Smurf, okay? And you commanders, Washington Commander fans will remember when they had the uh, Smurfs back in the day with the Washington Commanders. Um, that's your small guys. The nice thing about some of these small guys is they get lost in traffic. They're so small and so low to the ground, you don't see them. He's five foot ten. He's a small guy, but he can move. And this may be a guy if he actually makes the team. This could be a guy who could end up being a kick returner, could be a gadget guy, could be a practice squad guy. The guy has speed. And in fact, I tell you what, let's do this because this, of course, will make it longer, of course, for this to upload, which is what I'm trying to do. Here's some highlights of him. You see the end around? Look at this. He's small. He looks so tiny. He looked tiny. He don't look like he's more than 170 pounds soaking wet, does he? But he's got speed. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Elusive. Boom. Look. Oh, look at the, Oh, did you see the jock strap? That guy, he left his jock strap on the field. Okay. He, he, he juked him out of it. Here we go. Here we go. Look. Boom, boom, boom. Nice pass. It was like right there in the bread bass. He just kind of hesitated, stopped, boom, caught it. So the Cowboys are definitely going to be – and this isn't the the end all. This isn't the end all of the guys that are going to be bringing in. We're going to be hearing about guys, you know, from here to training camp and through training camp that they're going to be bringing in because you never know. You may find a guy. He's got some speed. He really does have some speed. You might find a guy. You know, you might bring in 20 guys. You might find two that make your roster – and for all you know, you might find one guy that becomes a Tony Romo. You never know what you might find. In fact, you can think about a Drew Pearson, who was an undrafted free agent, who literally, literally, and I mean literally, stalked Roger Staub back to work out with him. And you never know when you find a guy with, look at this speed. Look, at, look he, he's a traffic cop, too. You see him directing traffic there? Look, you. It's Look, you go, you go, you go. So definitely has some skills. Definitely, you know, Cowboys are saying, hey, you're the MVP. Let's check you out. Let's kick the tires. Let's see what you got. And we'll see if any of these guys stick. And with that being said, I'm going to go in here and take me a shower. I'm going to go to my favorite spot. I'm going to get me a nice, I don't know, I could probably get me a burger or get me a steak salad or something like that because I'm hungry. 
And Lord knows I need to eat me some more salad. I need I need my vegetables. But with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace. But oh, wait, hold it. We don't have to be out of here just yet. Because we can always go ahead and say, because we always like to make fun of people. Let's go. This is for Tad Prescott. Leave me alone. This is for Cowboys fans. I wore your colors. Leave me alone in my mentions. This is for guys like Graziano. But most importantly, this is for my arch nemesis, Dominique Foxworth. Oh, egg on my face on television. <laughs> He's got egg on his face. Dominique.